Good afternoon, fam. It's your girl, Miss Diva Trucker, and I am here in a place called, I'll just, I hope I got signal, okay? Um, I hope I get, got signal up here, but I'll wait and see if any of you all come in or whatever the case may be. Do I need to have my flash on? I'm not sure. But, um, hello, 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 hello. I just made it up here to my delivery, y'all, and, um... The question that I get mostly a lot of the time is, uh, will I see you at Gats? Yes, I, yes, you will. Yes, you will see me at Gats. I will be there, okay? Um, the question I get uh, often from a lot of people who are not in the trucking industry is they wonder, uh, do you ever get scared out here being a female driver? Do you ever get scared um, when you're going to your shippers and receivers, especially at night and things like that? And I want y'all to, I wanted to tell y'all, heck yes, I be scared, okay? Um, you got to have a little fear in you because, and be aware of your surroundings at all times. So right now I am in Zoom Broda, is that how you say it? How you say it, y'all? Zoom Broda, Minnesota, okay? I am from Mississippi. I do not know anything about Minnesota. When I got on Highway 90 or whatever the case may be, Minnesota uh, coming up this way, I was like the only truck coming this way, okay? You do not have to worry about truck parking coming up here. You have plenty places you could park. Like, you could just park anywhere. There's nobody up here, okay? And the trucks are, uh, the trucks are very, um, few and far between, all right? I'm out here in the middle of nowhere, and guess what, y'all? I'm not at a truck stop. I have to stay the night. Well, I don't have to stay the night, but I like to be at my ship or receiver so I don't have to get up, start your clock, and all this kind of stuff. So, I missed the exit coming here because it was this little video exit to get here. Had to whoop a U-turn, okay? Yeah, in the 18-wheeler, yes. Miss Diva whooped a U-turn. It wasn't no traffic. Wasn't nobody out there. It wasn't like nobody knew about it, okay? And I had to come back to this area. So I'm getting ready to show you all where I am. And um, for security, people ask me, well, Tamara, do you have, what do you have? Do you have a gun? Do you have this? Do you have that? Um, right now, I'm going to show you what I have, okay? This is what I have. I got Ripley, okay? So, I am going to get out my truck, you know, because I got y'all with me. I feel a little safe. You know, it's, what, 30 of y'all right now? So, if anything happens to me, y'all could y'all know where I'm at. Zoom Boda, Minnesota, all right? So, let me just, if you don't stop, let me just show y'all how it really is out here at night in a place that you're unfamiliar with. And... You have no bathrooms. And, come on, Rip. Look, I'm going to get my protector. Come on. Come on, security guard. Come on, security. Look, I got security. Come on. Type flight security. Come on. I got you. Don't fall, Rip. Don't fall. Don't go too far either because you know how I am. And it's dark. And it's out here in the dark, okay? Out in the middle of nowhere. So... But it's not too bad because I am at the uh, receiver, okay? So, like you see, there's another truck. What? Over there, just got here. I asked, can I be unloaded? And he was like, it's 11 o'clock at night. Um, you know, we stop unloading. My appointment is not till tomorrow to at 12 o'clock anyway. But, you know, it never hurts to ask to get unloaded. You know, I'm here, they're here, they got a forklift. Let's go on and get the stuff off truck okay we could do that tonight but since i don't have any hours then um since i don't have any hours i'm a it doesn't matter for me to unload tonight or tomorrow i don't have hey ripley get over here where you going get over here how you doing how you doing oh get over here ripley all right they waiting on you yeah. 
I was trying. I was trying to beat you in the door. I was trying to get unloaded. Oh, are you gonna get unloaded? Nah, today? he told me to wait till the, in the morning. Oh. He was waiting on you. He, they was gonna wait on you. Yeah, he's yeah, he's gonna load me, and I, I can't go anywhere. But I made it just in time. Oh, did you? Yeah, I tried calling earlier, and he wouldn't. They answer. They don't answer the phone. Uh-uh. Yeah. -uh, but they in there. Yeah. Yeah, I just knocked him with the door once. So. All right, you must not have a full trailer. You just got a little bit on your trailer. I, I'm empty. You, um, oh, loaded. you empty? Oh, yeah. he loaded you tonight. Yeah, okay. I'm going to Fargo on Monday. Fargo where? North? Where is that? Fargo, North Dakota? Dakota yeah. Lord, how much? Lord, will you be safe now? Don't get in no trouble, okay? Um, but yeah, let me show, let me show y'all where I'm at. Y'all see that? We, uh, they go the truck, okay? There go the woods. Ain't nothing out here. There go Ripley. He better not go too far because we will be leaving him in Minnesota because I'm not looking for Ripley this time of night. But yeah, we out here in the woods. And if you don't hear the truck, watch. Oh, let me see something. Hello? 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 Anybody out there? <laughs> Hello? Y'all, I just talked to anybody, but this is how it is. This is how I sh the shippers and receivers are sometimes at night. There's no light. Can y'all see that? I don't, I don't know if y'all had a light too much or whatever the case may be. But this is like the... Um, the place that I am at, there's my truck over there, and you know, there's nothing. There's no, I'm, I'm trying to like lighten it up for y'all, but it's like nothing. You're like in dark areas, okay? So, this is the part of my job. This is the part of my job that I don't like, okay? Um, and this is what I do when I'm out here at a place like this. Usually, if there's nobody here, I would not be walking around like this, okay? So, the only reason I'm walking around like this is because the people in receiving are still here. Um, the guys that work here are still here. And then, y'all saw the truck that just pulled up over there. He's here, okay? So, but any other time, I would not be out here just walking around in an unfamiliar place that I don't know, okay? Um, but... What I usually do is, usually you don't get out the truck. If you come here to a place like this and there's nobody here and there's nothing open and everything's closed or whatever, and you find yourself parked over here by yourself, um, the first thing I do is uh, secure my doors, okay? So I make sure I close my curtains, secure my doors, and we secure the doors by, I latch my um, seat belt in the door and then I buckle my seat belt okay so that will alert me if I go to sleep and somebody's trying to get in they won't be able to uh they won't be able to get in look at the um is that the um see that water looks like I guess that's the heat coming off the water the steam coming off the water But what that does is if somebody's trying to get into my truck, then it will alert me to wake up. Um, uh, and also Ripley is, is in the truck as well. So it will alert me to wake up that somebody's trying to get in or enter into the truck. Um, but normally, a lot of times too, if there's a truck stop around, it's always good to go park at the truck stop because you always have other trucks there. It's a lighter area and things like that. But I looked at this on the um, on the Google Maps and um, I saw how it was. There's not anything out here, y'all. So, you know, I try to protect myself the best way that I can hopefully go to sleep wake up in the morning and then i can get unloaded but i get that question a lot people ask they want to know are you afraid out there being a female driver on the road by yourself you know aren't you scared um that something that get your butt let me catch you laying on the ground again 
and see what happens. Um, being out there, being a female driver, driving on the road by yourself, um, do you ever feel unsafe? You know, do you ever get scared? Do you, what do you do? Things like that. And yes, the question is yes, you always have to have some level of fear, uh, uh, with you and also be able to, um, just be aware of your surroundings, okay? Be aware of your surroundings, know where you're at. Oh, there go my um, people. What y'all say? Y'all hear? Who is that in the woods? Y'all want to go see who the woods? Like a movie, huh? You know, when you're in the dark and then you be hearing some, huh? What y'all say? What's, who y'all talking to? Y'all hear that? That's the birds. Is it the birds or who is it? Hello? Oh, they quiet. They're not saying that no more. What's something come? What? Who? Y'all hear that? It be noises like that. You be like, what is that? Child. Huh? What you say? Ripley, go see who it is. Go see what's making that noise, Ripley. Go see what's making that noise. Go see. Then I got quiet now. Go see who's making the noise, Ripley. Go see what's in the woods over there. Go see. Who that rip? Ripper most scared of it I am. You ain't gonna go in the woods and see who that is, real. Other than that, y'all, I just wanted to come in and um, you know, show y'all uh, what it is that I do after I get through um at night and uh believe you me yes if i was up here by myself there was no other cars around and all that kind of stuff and there wasn't anybody at the ship or the receiver what i do is i would usually leave my clearance lights on and i will close my curtains and i will also secure my doors okay so nobody can get in there and get me but yeah we have a dangerous job out here y'all but we gotta do it and um it is what it is so other than that he's over there getting what the oh other than that he's over there getting unloaded <laughs> look at ripper ripper ain't gonna go too far huh you don't need no leash huh rip rip say i'm right behind you mama come on let's get back in this truck but let me get back in the truck y'all and um get over here but yeah it is come on rip come on oh. there you go get up there there you go okay all right y'all let me show you what i do as far as my doors is concerned y'all i had some barbecue ribs today uh, for my what's the name but I usually close my doors right and let me turn my light on y'all gotta excuse the truck excuse the mess I've been driving all day um but usually what I do is I close my curtain I don't know if y'all can see that but I close my curtain and what we usually do as drivers is put the seat belt lock the doors put the seat belt through there okay can y'all see that put the seat belt through there and give me one second so i can secure myself in the truck lock the door close the curtains 
we pull our seat belt out and I put my seat belt through here right tie it to the door can y'all see that tie it to the door so you can't get in the door and then we secure it by latching it by latching it right there okay can y'all see that by latching it right there so that way if anybody has like a key or try to open the door they can try to open the door but it's not going to go that that far because they can't you see what i'm saying so you can't really get in it okay so that's what we do we lock it up we close our lock our doors we close our curtains and as females as women we do not get out the truck okay do not get out the truck until in the morning okay and if you don't know so this is me securing my truck and i will lift my seat up a little bit so that it is tight and secure and you won't be able to get in it so i also do ripley side as well ripley side as well so i also will do his side as well okay so right now what i'm doing is closing the curtains and the less visible you are the better you don't want a lot of people knowing that it is a female in the truck so the less visible you are the better and um cut this off this is my um my um ram mcnally cut that off close up my curtains which goes around there some people like to just close the back curtains but i like to close the front curtains because you have more um more room okay so that's what i do y'all so i lock up for ten for the night i uh put on my night clothes go to bed wake up in the morning and get unloaded so other than that y'all that's it um but yeah i just wanted to come and show y'all how i shut down for tonight and especially when i'm in a unsecure location and i'm not at a truck stop or anything like that and i just happen to be sleeping at the um shipper or the receiver okay so yeah i do get scared i do get scared at night and um i just try to uh protect myself the best way i can by securing my doors not getting out my truck and also um closing my curtains so no one is able to look in here and see that it's a female driver in here okay so peace love joy and happiness and y'all have a wonderful day remember this each one teach one each that's my new motto each one teach one okay talk to y'all later